Okay, we're on a roll here. We're doing uh, more uh, logarithmic stuff. And uh, we're going to solve this one. Now we got a natural log thrown in the mix. That's not a problem because we should do the same thing. Um, this one looks kind of weird because, you know, I want to look at I want to look at this inside piece and I, I want to say like e to the 8 equals 3x, but there's this 4 over here. Well, let's just divide that by 4. We'll just divide it out and then we end up with Right, see how I did that? Just got rid of it. Now I can say e to the second power equals uh, 3 to the x. Okay, and then all I have to do now is just divide by 3, and I'll find out that e, e squared equals 3. So there I am right there, and that's not too hard. Um, and since I did so good on that one, I think I'm gonna make one up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one up. We're just gonna see what happens. We're just gonna go wherever the road takes us here. I'm gonna go 18 natural log of, oh, 2x equals 42? I don't know, <laughs> who knows, all right, so, 18 divided by 42, um, 14 divided by 18, that's not a very good number, is it? Well, that's all right, that's all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it. Um, so here we go, we, let's, uh, we're just gonna go natural log of 2x equals 42 over 18. Okay, now this tells me that e raised to the 42nd, 18 equals 2x, okay, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals e to the 42, 18, divided by 2, and let's just figure out what that is, I'm, actually it's a good thing we did that, because in real life, you'll run into weird stuff like this, so... And that's approximately yeah that's approximately 5.1 something so um, that that's just what we did there let's just take a stab at it again you know uh, same same deal almost the exact same problem it was just kind of weird this this wasn't a, a whole number of fraction e to the 42 over 18, and we just divided both sides by 2, and we got x. So, that's one of those deals, and I think it's uh, about time to start working some, some problems. I think it's t just about time to start working out some problems. So, let's work out some problems. And let's go, let me write one down here, let me go, okay, what do we got here, what do we got here, this looks kind of weird. Uh, we haven't we haven't really messed with this too much, but let's just go back to our exponential functions. Um, let's just try to let's just go back to algebra, regular plain old vanilla algebra stuff, and see if we can't uh, just get x by itself. So let's subtract 30 from both sides. That's what I look like. That's what I feel like doing. It's gonna give me negative 1.4 raised to the x being equal to negative 30. Um, if we, uh, we can divide both sides by negative 1 and end up uh, back to the uh, positive numbers. So, what are we going to do now? We have this variable tied up in the exponent. So let's, uh, 
let's take I have half a mind to take the natural log of both sides. That's what I think I'm going to do. Okay. Now, I am going to use my power rule here. I'm going to use my little, uh, remember my logarithm power rule? And I'm going to stick the X back over here. Okay, now it looks like I got something I can work with. Why don't I divide both sides by natural log of 1.4. Okay. And x is going to be equal to natural log of 30 over natural log of 1.4. So let's see if that's right. And I'm getting on my calculator, and that's the two decimal places. And that's what came up in the uh, in the answer section of the book. So that, but that's what I did there. That one was a little bit different, though. That I didn't I didn't really prepare for that. That's not what I meant to do. But hey, that's a that's a that's a good example right there. Um, is that's actually using logarithms to solve exponentials. So that turned out to uh, kind of benefit us. You know, you kind of kind of got a, a little crash course in there. So let's do another one like that. Why not? Let's do another one just like it. Let's go. Five to the x equals 17. Well, let's just do the same thing. Let's take the natural log of both sides. You could have took the regular log of both sides if you really wanted to. You know, it doesn't really matter. I just you you're you're just gonna use this natural log so many times it's just gonna eventually gonna come natural to you. And you probably already guessed it. Yeah, we're gonna use that logarithm power rule. Okay, natural logs of 5 cancel out, so we're left with x being equal to natural log of 17 over natural log of 5. I got 1.76 roughly. Now, be careful here, okay? All right, I'm gonna tell you what. Natural log of 17 over natural log of five is not equal to natural log of 17 over five. Okay, do not fall into that trap. Okay. That's just, that's right up there with dividing by zero. Okay? Alright, see you in the next video.